Hello, I'm Jason Dragon, and I'm going to do a quick little video about some glitches that some people are having with the Ethereum mining lately. So the DAG file has gotten bigger, things have gotten more complicated, and with systems with a lot of video cards, it now requires more memory. So let me first off introduce myself. I'm Jason Dragon. I uh, build Ethereum mining machines from Emerald Computers. I also am the admin for the Ethereum Mining Group here on Facebook. So join our group. We'd love to have you. Anyway, let's give a quick little startup. There's two main reasons that your mining rig would probably fail after it's been working perfectly for a long period of time. Reason number one is because you're probably, you could be overclocking it too much. Now, I'm going to give you a little secret tip that we do right here at Emerald Computers, and um, most people don't seem to do it, but what you want to do is you want to lower your power limit on your video card. Um, you can go down even farther than I've gone down here. For NVIDIA cards, we usually lower it by, by at least 25 to 40 percent, depending on the type of video card. What you want to do is you want to try a couple different things and see how it works for you. But lowering the power limit will allow you to not create so much heat and you can actually overclock further. And if you're still having issues with instability and your mining software crashing, then stop overclocking so much and lower your memory clock just a little bit. I could overclock a lot more than this, but I only have one video card in this computer, and this computer's primary function is for me to make videos and to play games and to be highly stable. So I don't want to get all the mining capability out of this particular computer. I just rather make it be more stable. So that's my first suggestion. Work with Afterburner, stop overclocking so much. But the number two suggestion, which you probably should definitely try, was to increase virtual memory. So I made a little guide right here, step by step on how to do it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do it for you on the screen. So first step, you're gonna hold down, you're gonna run, which is Windows R. It's going to pop up a box down here in the corner of the screen. You're going to type in S Y S D M period C P L. Now, this is also called the advanced menu in, in uh, system properties. Now, that's all fine and dandy, except in the last two versions of Windows 10, uh, they deleted the button that lets you get to this advanced menu easily. So it's actually now very difficult to get to which is why I like to prefer just running the, the uh, run command sysdm.cpl. There are other ways to get to it. That's the one I found to be the easiest. Once you're on this, you're going to quickly click on the Advanced tab. Then you're going to click over here on Settings under Performance. When you're in the Performance window, you're going to click on the Different Advanced tab. You're going to go right here. Now where it says virtual memory, by default, Windows is just going to control the virtual memory and it sets it to, you know, a decent amount of memory. You're going to hit change. <clears throat> right here, it's not going to let you do anything until you unselect the box that says automatically. Then you're going to put in custom size. You can also optionally pick the drive if you have multiple drives in your system. So if you want to pick your media drive or storage drive or whatever drive you want to pick, you can do that. Then you want to type in initial size of 32,000, which because we're talking about mil billions here, it's actually 32 gigs, which is a lot of space. So 32 gigs is what we're looking to do to create. And with 32 gigs, I found that you can run pretty much any amount of video cards stably under Windows 10 without crashing. The maximum size can just be any number higher than, you know, than the number you just hit right there. Once that's done, you're going to hit the set button. And as soon as you hit set, you can hit OK. You're going to exit this window. It's going to pop up a box saying, would you rest like to restart your computer? Personally, I don't need to restart my computer right now, so I'm going to say no. But for you, in order for your fix to go into effect, you need to say yes. 
And once you do that, you should have very stable mining. So if that's a problem you're having right now, I would highly recommend that you fix the virtual memory, making it to 32 gigs or larger. Anyway, that's it. I'm Jason from Emerald Computers, and we still have a whole bunch of these rack mount cases. We actually have the version that lets you hold eight cards in it. It's a very, very nice rack mount case. Uh, we're selling them for below what they're worth just because we have 40 of them in stock. So if you need that, give us a call. Uh, 602-579-4919. We also have motherboards and video cards and everything to build mining machines. We've mostly switched over to a bamboo case, which is why I'm willing to let my cases go. But we still have everything in stock. If you're looking to you know, start mining up and get more machines, right now the price of Ethereum is honestly a little bit low. And it's not that highly profitable if you're looking at a quick return. But if you're looking at a return where you'll get a hundred, you'll double your money, get a hundred percent of what you have into it back, plus still have your original hardware investment, you could do that in about a year and a half to two years right now by buying machines from us. Now, that's only if the price of Ethereum stays at where it is, right now currently at about $600. If Ethereum goes to, say, $2,000, you're getting your money back in less than six months. But the beauty of it is, is it doesn't have to go to $2,000 before you buy the rigs. You can buy the rigs right now, mine right now, and if six months from now it goes to $2,000, you could take all that money that you sold between now and then that you mined between now and then and then sell it and be able to double your money in only six months so it really depends on when you want to sell your rig if you're looking at buying a mining rig right now we're building six card bamboo machines we're specifically liking the 1060 video card and we're doing that for thirty two hundred and fifty dollars that's completely built tested turnkey we're giving a 30-day warranty on for unlimited tech support and advice on how to make it work after that will still be available for a small charge the hardware is all covered by at least a one-year warranty the video cards are usually a two-year warranty um, things like the RAM and the processor have lifetime warranties so if you want to buy a a, game, a new mining rig. We have two or three ready to ship right now and the ability to get cards right now. We have vendors ready to sell them to us. So let me know if you're interested in buying a mining rig. $32.50 plus whatever appropriate shipping would be. If we ship it on a pallet that's really cheap. If you're willing to come pick it up in Phoenix, Arizona, then we charge nothing for shipping. So let us know. Call me personally, 602-579-4919, or contact me on Facebook, Jason Dragon. Well, you have a great day, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.